Hi there, welcome to another video in my series on the geometric distribution. And in this video, what I've got here is a typical question working out probabilities. And I've got a good selection of questions here which should show you all the different types that you're going to get. So what we've got then is on a production line, a gift is placed in every fourth packet of crisps. Calculate the probability of first getting a gift after buying exactly four packets, at most two packets, at least seven packets, and finally at most ten packets. Now if you'd like to give this a go, then I'll give you a moment just to pause the video. And when you come back, I'll take you slowly through the work solution, unless you want to fast forward just to check out the method quickly and to check your answers. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, just as a quick reminder about geometric distributions, remember that in an earlier tutorial, I showed you that this was essentially the tree diagram that we get. And if x is distributed geometrically with the probability of success being p, then we had the probability x equals r equal to q to the power r minus 1 times p. And the probability x being greater than r was always equal to q to the power r, where q was equal to 1 minus p. Now for this model here, I'm going to assume then it's geometric. That is, the probability p of having a gift is going to be 1 in every 4. So in other words, a quarter or 0 0.25 and that the packets of crisps are distributed at random throughout the shops. OK, so first of all, then I need to define a random variable and that random variable is going to be x. So we'll just say let x be the random variable. OK, RV for short, and it's going to be the number of packets I'll abbreviate packets, number of packets bought in order to get a gift. OK, so we'll just say bought to get a gift. And if that's the case, and um, it meets all those assumptions, then we can say that where x is distributed geometrically, geo there, and the parameter p, the probability of getting a gift, was one quarter. OK, I'm going to just put that as 0 0.25. So for part a, then, when we're being asked the probability that it takes exactly four packets to get the gift, first of all, then it's going to be x equals four. And according to the result up here, we're going to get three failures. So it's going to be 0 0.75 for the probability of a failure. Three failures repeatedly, so that's 0.75 cubed. And then finally we get the gift, a success. So that's going to be multiplied by 0 0.25. And if you work this out in your calculator, you should find that to three significant figures, you get 0 0.1. 0, 5. Just put in there 3SF, three significant figures then. Now for part B, we've got to work out the probability then that it takes at most two packets before we get that gift. So we're looking then for the probability that x is less than or equal to 2. And less than or equal to 2 would be the same as getting it on the first packet or the second packet. So that's going to be the probability that x equals 1 plus the probability that x equals 2. So for the probability that x equals 1, that we get the gift on the first purchase, that's going to be just simply p. So p is 0 0.25 and then for probability x equals 2, we're going to have one failure, 
okay 0.75 and then we're going to have a success so it's not times 0.25 and if you work this out on your calculator it comes out to exactly 0.4375 now for part C what we've got next is the probability of getting a gift after buying at least seven packets so for C then we're looking for the probability that X is greater than or equal to seven now to work this out would be to work out property x equals 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10 and remember this can go on forever so we can't look at it like that but what I can do is I can work with this result here it's a lot quicker so the probability of x being greater than or equal to 7 is exactly the same as working out the probability that x is greater than 6 so we've now got it in this form and it's equal to q to the power r so q was 0.75 so it's 0.75 all to the power 6 and if you work that out in your calculator to three significant figures you get 0 0.178 to three significant figures now for part D we've got to work out the probability of getting a gift after buying at most 10 packets so this is going to be working out the probability that X is less than or equal to 10 now we're not going to want to do probability X equals 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way up to 10 but what we can do is work our way towards this result again we can think of this as 1 minus the probability of x being greater than 10 so we can now work out this probability with ease it's going to be 1 minus then and using this result here it's going to be q which is 0 0.75 to the power 10 work this out on your calculator and what you end up with then is 0 0.944 to three significant figures 3SF so I hope you're able to get those correct if not you've been able to see how to tackle these various types of probabilities which are likely to be asked when doing questions like this